Awesome. Hello, Mavericks. It is awesome to be with you guys today. This is unit seven, week one, day number three, and we are going to continue talking about marking up um, and noticing what changes um, a short vowel and a long vowel, as well as thinking about our fluency, um, putting out adjectives in our story, and just doing lots of fun things. So I'm excited that you are here today to join us, um, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get our drill sounds, and oh my gosh, I was like, hello, baby Echo, where are you? Well, baby Echo was hiding today, and I like could not even find her, and then I went upstairs, and she was having a play date with Elfie right here, and they just were inseparable, and I was like, fine, you know what? Elfie can help you. I'm sure that our um, second grade Mavericks will not mind, so Elfie's going to join Baby Echo here with us today and um, join us on our play date. So I didn't want to interrupt the play date. They're playing so nicely together. So let's just begin. All right. So quick question. What does the consonant sound of Y make? Any takers? <gasps> yeah, that's correct. It is yeah. But then what is the vowel sound of Y? Why? What sound does that make? I. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're too good. Here we go. Let's begin. All right. O O moon oo. O O moon oo oo. Nice job, team. E Y key e. E Y key e. Y yellow yeah yeah why yellow yeah yeah oh no oh 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 no oh oh u e blue ooh ooh u e blue ooh ooh O I coin oi oi O I coin oi oi A underscore E safe A A A underscore E safe A A right that's that magic E I L D child I'll I L D child ILD I itch I I I itch I I O Y boy oi O Y boy oi oi I hi I I I hi I I I V E give if I V E give if time for the trick word practice. If you remember from yesterday, if you are able to do these words and you know all of them, then you can start crossing them off your list. So let's practice. Let's see how we're doing with our trick words. Eight. Go ahead and spell the word eight. There are eight cars lined up along the street. Eight. Place. P-L-A-C-E. Place. As you're writing, you can even use that word in a sentence. Place. All right, next word I want you to write down is right. Was it right to go play outside when it was dark? Was it right? Change. I asked the cashier if they had any change for a dollar. Change. Large. There was a large package on our doorstep. Large. T. 
together. Together is better. Together. Only. There is only one marker on my desk. Only. And this was the one that I never fixed. Often. I often think that it would be fun to go on a slip and slide. Often. Once. Once I did go on a slip and slide and it was so fun. Once. Move. Wow, that word really, well, that's not. <laughs> it did move very quickly across the page. Move. Always. I always like seeing your shining faces. Always. Sure. I sure do hope you're having a fun day today. Sure. Please. Can you please make sure to do your writing each day? Please. Again. I'm excited to do trick word review with you again. All right, Mavericks, how did you guys do in getting all of these words spelled correctly? I sure hope that you're starting to cross more and more off your list that you know by heart, and then you can, again, just skip this part of the, our session. All right, so I have a little fun activity for us today. today. So the purpose of this is we are going to be um, building a word. So we're going to have this list of pretend words. Okay, we're all going to build, well, we're not going to build it. We're going to write our word and we can mark up the syllable type in vowel sound. Then you guys will each change the syllable to another type. So you can, if it's a closed syllable pretend word, then you're going to turn it into an open syllable pretend word. Okay, by removing a letter. So here is an example for you right here. So right here we have chid. Now chid, is, is that an open or closed syllable? Yes, it's a closed syllable. So now what we do is we would remove the consonant and we would add, you can add a vowel or you could, in this case, you could just keep the vowel here and it would be chai. So let's go ahead and do some of these together. It will be super fun. So these are fake words, and the whole purpose of this really is because when you are able to understand the rules, you'll be able to um, apply these kind of word attack skills for when you're doing bigger reading in books when you come across unfamiliar words. So it's more of a strategy, um, but this is a fun game that we can kind of just do together to help you get better at using these new strategies. All right, so I'll say, I'll spell the words and then we can kind of do them together just so you can see. All right, team. Can I get this camera here set up for the day? All right, so the first word that we had was prue. Now, is that an open or closed syllable? Prue. It is an open syllable, right? So you're gonna show your open syllable and you're going to do poo. Okay, now the game is you are going to turn this word into something else. So you have to turn this word into a closed syllable vowel, or yeah, closed syllable, closed syllable. All right, so you're gonna come up with your own fake word. You could look something like this, prude, prud, right? Because it's now gonna go uh, and you're going to call it a closed syllable because it is closed in by a consonant. Great job, Mavericks. Okay, let's do another one. Let's start with, maybe I should change my marker. Clin. Let's do clin. Man, alive. This is what happens when you have little kiddos who like to use all of your dry erase markers. Let's see what we got here. All right, everyone cross your fingers. Got a fun, oh, I already have red, huh? Okay, well, I have another black, let's see. 
Oh, there we go. And Clin. Cull in. Now, is this open or closed? And why? Yeah, it's closed because it is closed in by a consonant. So you're going to write Clin and show it with a brevet. Now your job again, choose a way to make this an open. Again, these are just made up words. You're gonna choose make the, turn this into an open syllable. For mine, I'm gonna go like this. Cle. So now, instead of a closed, it is open. And I show it with the long I symbol, the me, the make 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 All right, what did you choose to do to show that as an open syllable? I'm excited to see your thinking. All right, next word. Ooh, this one's a tricky one. Hmm. Yes, because of this magic E, this is actually an open syllable. The vowel says its name because of this little dude here. How are you going to make it a closed syllable? You can, oh, Miss Hampton, you got to underline your digraph. All right, here we go. Shh. Here's one idea you could do. Shad. Right, we know that ah is closed in. So this is a closed syllable. So you have the breve over here and you have the macron over here that shows your long e sheed. Take away your magic e. And I could even have left it as this too, right? Shed. But that's not even a made up word, which is why I changed it. All right, come with this one. Ooh, this one's a fun one. Here we go. Let's try. Sp. Open or close. Mark it up. Wow, Mavericks, you guys are so good. Yeah, that's an open syllable, right? So you're going to mark it with the open syllable sign. And now you have a chance to make it a opposite. We're going to make it a closed syllable. So you can keep the same letters, but we have to make sure um, if we're going to close it in, you have to close it in with a consonant and it's going to change that vowel sound. A lot of times that reading strategy, we call it flip the vowel, right? But that's what this is. So now you have a better understanding of why and when you flip that vowel. Spog. Well, that's definitely closed. Spog. Right? And you could turn it whatever way with whatever word that ending that you want as long as it's a made up word spog because today we are really working on our word attack strategies all right let's do a couple more together and of course this is something that you can practice um, maybe test your sister or brother or parents um, if you guys are looking for something fun to do and you want to teach them some of the things that you're learning in your foundation lesson all right, here we go. Let's bring back that. All right, team, open or closed? You guessed it. It is a closed syllable. So we're gonna show that closed syllable sign. Now I'm gonna do something fun over here. I'm gonna open up this syllable and I'm gonna turn it into a magic E open syllable Ta -da! open because of that magic e right so it's making that e say its name treat all right you guys did so awesome again you can find up and do this really with any words or any letters that you want 
And it's just um, a fun way to continue to work on those reading and literacy strategies that you have. All right, guys, so now we're going to go into story time. And today, as we do it, I really want to focus on our phrasing. So we're going to do some of that phrasing together. Um, before we get started, I want us to look at adjectives. Good old Jack Cartman coming at ya. Go ahead and what dance an if you want to. I know I am. Check it out. An adjective is a part of speech that makes reading and writing more exciting for you and me. Listen. Here's how it works. Adjective. Oh, man. and nouns, they work together to help make your reading and writing so much better. You've got to have a noun like teacher, house, or door. Then the adjective describes the noun and tells you more. Mommy is a noun that is a person. Now let's say some adjectives that describe and tell you more about the mommy. She is a good mommy. She is a funny mommy. She is a kind mommy. She is a sweet mommy. Good, funny, kind, sweet are all adjectives that describe the mommy. School is a noun that is a place. Now let's say adjectives that describe and tell you more about the school. It is a new school. It is a big school. It is a friendly school. It is a safe school. New, big, friendly, safe are all adjectives that describe the school. Boat is a noun that is a thing. Now let's say adjectives that describe and tell you more about the boat. It is a fast boat. It is a fishing boat. It is a wooden boat. It is a whale boat. Fast, fishing, wooden, whale are all adjectives that describe the boat. What is an adjective? What is an adjective? Let's be friends. Oh Place my your mouse on good my old Jack Cartman. Isn't he always just button. the best? All right, guys. So um, we're going to be looking today. We're actually um, reading this story called Adjectives Are Handy. So I wanted to do that because um, we're going to be identifying some of the adjectives in here. Now, guys, I'm going to introduce this story here in a second. This is the title of the book hmm. or of the story. What do you think this story is going to be about? Do you have any background knowledge on adjectives? All right, guys, so here we go. Now, just like always, this is a big deal. Fluency is a big deal, right? It really helps us to improve our understanding of what we're reading. So today when we read some of these adjectives, um, notice the adjectives, but really focus on your fluency. So I'm going to read it that first time, and I'm going to really focus on the fluency and try to change my voice as much as I can with my pitch and my speed and different ways that I'm saying different words based on the meaning of the text. So I want you to practice. Also, you can mute me afterwards. And practice reading this with your own fluency. And even more importantly, practice reading out loud some of the books, um, whether they're digital or the books that you have at home, um, just in your own library or from maybe you had your take home bag, hopefully on Thursday. So you can be using those books to also really practice your fluency because that's super important and it's super fun. All right. 
So here we go. By second grade, you can read and spell lots of words. We use words all the time to talk and to write. There are all kinds of words. Some words are people, places, or things, like baby, Boston, and bench. Some words are words for things we do, like swim, jump, and cry. We are lucky to have lots of words we can use when we write. Some words are useful when we are trying to describe someone or something. These words are called adjectives. Adjectives are words like funny, silly, ugly, messy, and chunky. These words tell us more about the people, places, and things we talk and write about. With adjectives, we can let others know if our lunch was yummy or yucky. We can tell our friends if our new puppy is skinny or chubby, or if our kitty is black or white. Adjectives come in handy when we want to describe things. All right, Mavs, I want you to pause Mrs. Hampton and I want you to have a try reading this as fluently as you possibly can. Oh my gosh, I hope that you guys, you guys are amazing. I hope you had fun just practicing your fluency. You can go and show that off too to your family after we're done today. I have a few questions about the text before we go and then I'm going to be saying toodaloo until tomorrow. So team, what is the topic of this passage? What was this at this topic? Or what was this passage about? Yeah, this passage was about adjectives, right? The topic of this was adjectives and how they are so super handy when we're reading and writing. What else did you know about adjectives that was not discussed in this passage? What are some facts that you learned in this passage? Did you learn anything new? Were you able to identify some of the adjectives that you saw in this passage? And finally, what else would you like to learn about this topic? I know we've worked super hard this year on writing complete sentences. This is a great start for us to keep continue that conversation and writing and making sure that our writing is done in complete thoughts so that our sentences are complete and they always make sense. All right, Mavericks, it has been wonderful spending this time with you. Until next time, take care and I will see you all very soon. Bye.